What's up people, how are we doing today? This is Mark, the R Cloud Helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And I have some amazing news. Yeah, it is good. I am, it, this video is a full premium bypass on remote management lock on a MacBook. And that's any MacBook, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, M1. Uh, currently not sure if it's working on M2. Uh, so you can see yourself. Right, so let's select United Kingdom. That's where I am and continue uh, not now I'll just continue continue so there as you can see remote management lock uh can't go no further you know continue this comes up some kind of enrollment uh allow company to uh, manage your computer and so forth so a lot of people have been asking me about remote management and basically um for macbooks you know um if you're familiar with my channel uh which a lot of you are then you should know that um it's mostly to do with um uh, remote management i've got covered on all ios devices covering all um, all iOS is from the very beginning iOS 9 till all the way to iOS 16 shut up you <laughs> sorry about that folks yeah um right so basically I'm going to show you a full premium bypass of how to do this okay so first things first power the computer off right And then what you're going to want to do, this is step number one, boot your computer into recovery mode. So if you're using um, uh, a MacBook, uh, Intel or AMD, it'll be power button holding the command and the R key. If it's uh, M1, uh, just hold down the power key and it'll basically go it'll boot into recovery mode that way just by holding down the power key not sure i don't think it currently works on m2 okay so holding down the power key presser command and r so we need it to go into the system recovery I should do it. There we go. Mac OS recovery. So, uh, step two, what you want to do is you want to open up disk utility. Disk utility. Okay. We'll continue with that. And basically, you want to select the top one. Do not... Do not erase the base system, okay? The Mac OS base system. Make sure it's the Mac solid state drive, the main one, okay? And simply click erase. Uh, erase uh, Macintosh SSD. Yours might be named something else. Uh, you could rename it if you want to, but just remember what you call it. But it's the one at the top, okay, which is, again, your main solid state drive. So, arrays. Okay. Click done to continue. And then you'll see this here. It's different for different computers, but make sure you select the top one, which is your main um, hard drive. 
So then what you want to do then is go over, you want to close disk utility and simply head over to reinstall macOS, whichever one you're running. In my case, obviously it is macOS Monterey. Select continue. And obviously continue with the setup. There is a major, well, it's not major, it's a really important step. Um, and it has to be done, otherwise this process will not work. It's very important. And so agree, agree to download, great. Select obviously your uh, hard drive, uh, solid state drive in my case, continue. And great. So it says about two hours and 20 minutes. I could drop to say one hour in 10 minutes and, and it kind of jumbles around. So what's going to happen after this? This is very important, okay? What's going to happen is after this bit is done, right, it'll then uh, reboot. The Apple logo will come up and then you'll see a bar with the time on there going down, for example, uh 60 minutes left, 40 minutes left. Now, be advised, okay, be strongly advised that when you see that, when when you see the timeline going down, the second that, because what will happen is the MacBook will reboot itself at least once, maybe twice. Now, in some occasions, you'll see the bar going down and it'll say like five minutes remaining, seven minutes remaining. At that time, at that specific time, what you're going to need to do is turn off your Wi-Fi router, yeah? Uh, Wi-Fi router, modem, hub, whatever you want to refer to it as. That has to be switched off, okay? It'll be switched switched on later back uh, back later on in in the video, okay? It's very important, but was the most important key element here to turn it off at exactly the right time. So when this is happening, even though it'll say like an hour or two hours away, be sure to keep an eye on it. Make sure you keep an eye on it, okay? Because when the Apple logo comes up and then the bar comes up and then it says, you know, there's so long left and then it'll start rebooting, at that stage, okay, you want to turn your Wi-Fi hub router, whatever you want to call it, off. Turn your Wi-Fi hub off, right? It has to be turned off before the installation is fully complete, okay? So once that happens, I will be right back with you, okay? Okay, people, so at this stage, what should happen is your Wi-Fi hub should be turned off. Called voiceover. If you know how to use voiceover, press the command key while you press touch ID three times at the right end of the touch bar. To learn how to use voiceover to set up your Mac, press the escape key. Duly noted. <laughs> as I was saying. So at this stage, your Wi-Fi hub, router, wherever you want to refer to it as, should be turned off, okay? And we are going to continue now the setup with Wi-Fi turned off, right? So like I said, you turn your Wi-Fi off during... After the installation is complete, you see the Apple logo with the bar, okay? And you'll see the time frame on it. Now, different time frames are different for different MacBooks. So, for example, mine got down to 14 minutes, okay? And then it rebooted three times. Now, yours may only reboot once, twice, could reboot more. Don't know. Again, different MacBooks different situations okay right so 
as I've turned my Wi-Fi hub off, what we're going to do is basically continue without Wi-Fi. They are very important steps, otherwise, you know, it's not going to work. This is the only way to make it work. As you can see, it's gone straight to data and privacy because my Wi-Fi is turned off. But most importantly, it's about the timing of turning it off. So I could just do not now on that. Terms and conditions, agree. Agree. Uh, so name just put uh, user. Continue. Okay. Uh, don't need a password for this. So continue. Right. So won't let me. Um, Right, so let's just go uh, one, two, three, four. Verify the password as one, two, three, four, and continue. And like I said, this works on any MacBook any MacBook besides the <clears throat> the ones with the the M2 chips. Okay, so location services continue. Uh, don't use at this stage. Continue. Later. Okay, as you can see, we've now gone through the process and I am officially in the computer. But it's not over yet. The next step now is to turn off the Mac and boot it basically back into recovery mode as we need to disable the system integrity protection also known as SIP okay so now at this stage what we can do is head over here and basically shut down and shut it down Okay, so now powering it on, again, command an R. Let's go see the bar there. It's fine, let go now. It'll boot into recovery. So now into utilities here, go to your terminal, open up terminal. <laughs> And this is very important. This is the command that you want to type in, okay? So it is C S R 
U T I L space disable. Put in that specific command there to run it in the terminal. Uh, hit enter. As it says, system integrity protection is off. Restart the machine for changes to take effect. So at this stage, to restart, what we can do is close the terminal, go on the Apple logo and select restart. Okay, now I'm going to enter into the desktop. One, two, three, four. It's the password. Enter. Okay. And now at this stage, what you want to do is connect your Wi Fi back on. So I'll do that and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so at this stage, after rebooting into utilities and going into the terminal and entering that specific command for the system integrity protection, uh, simply do what I done, uh, restart the computer, print your password and basically you're there at the desktop and simply turn your Wi-Fi hub back on. Once it's back on, you've got internet access. Now, these are the final steps. Now, it's just two steps left to go, okay? It's quite simple. Head over to Safari. Uh, Google should do it. Nothing beats Google, eh? <laughs> Uh, simply set, head over to the Checkmate website. And you want to, yeah, go on that one there. And scroll down until you find the MDM bypass for MacBooks. Okay. That's the one you're looking for. Almost there, almost there. And there it is, Mac OS MDM Bypass. Great. Click on it. And as you can see, this process is for M1 or T2. This computer is T2. Any uh, Intel AMD computer is T2. Okay. So what you want to simply do is download the software, Mac OS. That's not uncommon. Unidentified developer, no problem at all. Simply head over to System Preferences, Security and Privacy. And what it says there, Checkmate PKG was blocked. Well, we're gonna open it anyway. And select Open. Continue with the installation. We'll ask you for your passcode, the one you've been basically just installed. So in this case, and then install the software. 
And as quick as that, it is done. You can move that to the bin. Close out of this. Close out of Checkmate. Head over to your launch pad. And you'll find it there. The Checkmate MDM Bypass. Open it up. And where it says there, press start to begin, select start. And prompts for your passcode again. Your device has been successfully bypassed. Now, reason why mine is, is because I've already paid for it to be bypassed. In your case, you'll basically select, you know, start. And a box will come up to say, you know, your device is compatible or it's not compatible, but nine times out of 10, it's going to be compatible. Okay. So as you can see, this is done now. And obviously then, you know, you go through the payment process. Um, and then, yeah, basically it's done. So select OK. It's been successfully bypassed. Brilliant. So now... What I can do to show you that it's permanently bypassed and you can basically, you know, turn it on and off as much as you want. Um, it's not going to come back, certainly not going to come back by you turning the computer on and off. You have full access to everything, okay? Fully untethered, a full premium service, okay? So let's quit that now. Head over here. So select that. And we are going to restart. If you want to know about the MDM prices, go on Checkmate's website where I was just on to see the prices. Uh, different prices for different um, MacBooks. Obviously, the, this is a pro model, so we're going to three, four, enter. This is a pro model, so it's slightly more than the A models. Again, obviously, if it's M1, it's likely to be a little bit more you know, dearer, a little more expensive. Uh, be sure to use my promo code for a percentage off, and that is iCloud Helper 029. All one word, okay, people? That's iCloud Helper 029. Get you a discount, and you know, it basically that's it. A full premium bypass done on an Apple MacBook Pro, and like I said. Works on all MacBooks, bar the MacBook M2, okay? Now, yes, I know it's been a while and a lot of people, a lot of people have been asking me about, you know, um, bypasses for Macs, for MDM. Um, they're not that easy to get hold of, actually. Um but basically, yeah, most most of my content, as you'll see on my channel, is, um, you know, uh, bypasses for MDM, bypasses for iCloud, um, activation errors, things like that. Um, you know, I've got quite a bit of content already on my channel. Um, Apple Watches as well. You know, if you've got, if you've got a locked Apple Watch. Uh, You've got Apple Watches that need fixing. There's certain errors that need to be done on it. I have videos on that as well. Um, and basically, you know, the most important thing is I'm really glad that I was able to do this video for you folks. Um, yes, I know, obviously, it can be a bit tricky with the Wi-Fi situation. But the reality is, if you don't do it, in the method that I have clearly demonstrated to you, it will not work, okay? This is the key right here for it to work. Smash that like, be sure to subscribe. 
There's plenty of content on my channel and there's plenty more to come. Thanks. This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now, people. Bye for now.